Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn about creating a three-legged architecture project. The first part is we are going to learn about what the project is and what we are going to do, what is the requirement and what are the objectives in creating this project and what we learn from this project. So the main goal for this project is to learn about three-layered architecture way of creating a simple ASP.NET project. So while creating this project, we will be learning first point is like to create the UI. So to create UI layer and to create a, to create UI layer, business logic layer, we call it as BL layer and we call it, we another layer is database layer. Okay, so and then our objective is to learn about session variable and how to use this and where we can use the session variable and also to learn about very important concept ASP.NET master pages which is used to maintain consistency across all the pages of website and also we learn about uh, we learn about ASP.NET user controls where we use uh, reusable components so user controls and also we are going to learn about how to handle errors so ASP.NET error handling so so let's get started with this. Uh, first, we are going to learn about, first we'll try to understand what the project is and what are the requirements of the project. So let's get started with understanding the requirements of the project. So let's get started with understanding the requirements of project. Okay, so, so now if you see here, we are going to create a web page with a website with login page. So where we'll have user ready and password and we are going to have a database table and uh, where when the user clicks on login, we are going to uh, verify whether the user ready and password is present in the database or not. And also we'll be having this header image and uh, we'll be having this left navigation links and we'll be having this footer. So although the project main purpose is to learn about the concepts of ASP.NET, so after login, we need to go to any other page like let's take we need to go to finding factorial of a number so when the user enters some number here let's take four and clicks on this fa find factorial so we need to display the result somewhere here like four a uh, factorial is 24 and at the feedback section so when the user clicks on submit we need to save these details about this section in the database so the main goal of coming up with this small project is to learn about different concepts that are present in ASP.NET okay so so we have here three pages one is for uh, finding whether the number is uh, finding the factorial of a number and the second page is to find uh, the prime number or not so now so let's get started with the UI in the meantime um, s we will see how um, how different concepts are introduced. The first part now is to understand how to create the UI. So this header image, left navigation and the footer. So since if you notice one thing here is the header image and the left navigation and the footer is common in first page as well as in the second page as well as in the third page. So this section is common. So we are going to create a master page and we are going to put this header image and left navigation and footer in the master page and we are going to reuse that in all other web pages. Okay. And one more point if you note here is the feedback section is not is not present in the login page, whereas the feedback section is present in, in factual number page as well as uh, as well as in the check prime number case. So this for this we are going to create we are going to create a user control and reuse that user control in these two places. And also one more thing if you would have noticed here, so we need to check these two fields are mandatory. So for mandatory fields, we can go for either JavaScript validation or ASP.NET provides inbuilt validation controls, which we can use it here uh, for this mandatory fields, which is like required field validator. So we are going to use that validation controls here. Okay, so without any further delay, let's get started with creating this project now and let's see how the things work. So this is about project explanation. In the next video, we're going to learn about how to create this UI. Thank you.